on we go now. Our next award is for political fiction of the year. Oh, goodness, a, a preview of next year's manifestos, perhaps. No, no. <laughs> no, this is political fiction in the real sense, and the judges in this category are these distinguished people. Anne Alexander, Jackie Ashley, Edwina Curry, Daisy McAndrew, and Hugo Rifkind. Yeah, exactly. We've variously got the hots for all of them in our own different ways. So, let me tell you who's going to present the award. Oh, it's from our special sponsor, Paddy Pa. It's Patrick Kennedy. Come on down, Patrick. <laughs> Good evening, and uh, on behalf of Paddy Power, you are all very welcome to our second uh, Paddy Power Political Book of the Year Awards. Uh, we've always been intrigued by the machination of politics, uh, and uh, therefore uh, we're the first uh, bookmaking company to offer odds on political betting back in the 1970s. Um, we like to go beyond the normal betting on the next by-election. Uh, for us, it's the next papal election. For us, it's paying out early on David Cameron to be the Prime Minister, whatever it may be. You find us offering the broadest slate of political markets and doing it with a slightly different approach uh, to our competitors. Uh, we did take odds uh, on the first cliché to be uh, uttered by the Chancellor this afternoon in the budget speech. Um, <laughs> we didn't think he'd take such an exception to us, but based on the shoeing that we got as an industry and the three additional taxes that were introduced, um, I think we've learned our lesson. Um, but our aim with political betting uh, has always been to spark debate and to get people talking and to have a bit of fun at the same time. And that's why we also sponsor uh, these awards. These awards are about getting people talking about uh, uh, political books uh, in the United Kingdom. Uh, and as I say, that's the reason for uh, our sponsorship and our involvement with this uh, great event. And just with that, I just want to thank uh, Biteback for, 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 uh, uh, for arranging another great evening. Uh, our partner, Lord Ashcroft. Mm. <clears throat> uh, a, special, a special thank you to Ian, to Ian Dale for his ongoing support. Um, uh, and finally, just in turn to, to our own Adam Smith and Catherine Collins for uh, all their work in making tonight uh, such a great deal. And with that, the nominees for the Political Fiction Book of the Year Award are... My Name Is by Alistair Campbell, published by Arrow. A Ghost at the Door, by Michael Dobbs, published by Simon & Schuster. The Kill List, by Frederick Forsyth, published by Bantam Press. The Queen of Four Kingdoms, by Her Royal Highness Princess Michael of Kent, published by Constable. One Night in Winter, by Simon Sibag Montefiore, published by Century. The Wall by William Sutcliffe, published by Bloomsbury Publishing. Uh, and the winner is Simon Seabag Montefiore, One Night in Winter. <laughs> very much. That's very unexpected. Um, partly because this is really a love story, but I suppose it's a very political sort of love story since it stars Stalin himself. Um, I just want to thank very quickly my, uh, my publisher and my brilliant editor, Selina Walker, my agent, Georgina Capel, my publicist, Najma Finley, and my wife, who has to put up with Stalin being present in her house when I'm writing this book. Stalin said um, that gratitude is a dog's disease. But nonetheless, I'm very grateful for this prize. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. 
brilliant. Congratulations. I, I'm a little disappointed that Her Royal Highness didn't win because I'm a bit of a groupie. Um, <laughs> she's one of the people. You know how the, um, the, uh, it was revealed this week that Kingsley Amis had these erotic dreams about the Queen. And I, I had a phase of having them about Her Royal Highness, Princess Michael of Kent. <laughs> uh, anyway, all right. <laughs> Perhaps a revelation too far. Um, <laughs> Let's sweep on. And didn't you like the man from Paddy Power? He looks like what you'd expect a man from Paddy Power to look like. <laughs> they must have scoured central casting to get him. <laughs> Brilliant. Absolutely. He's even called Paddy. And Kennedy, too. It's obviously not his real name, but lovely to, that he... <laughs> Brilliant. And, 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 you know, a bookmaker who's committed to other bookmakers. You know, it's marvellous. Uh, and did you see he named his key personnel and one of them with an eye to Daniel Hannon is actually called Adam Smith Could you ask for anything more? I think not. Well done. Uh, though they don't actually take all the bets you want I, When the next Pope I did ask if I could place a bet on Anne Whittacombe. They poo-pooed me <laughs> They have not seen the future as I have but, but that's enough about my erotic dreams. 